Yeah, Michigan has been quite a responsive team here. Both teams getting loud. Some of the fans here applauding as we're down into the final minute. Jacksonville trying to hold strong. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Back at even strength. Mirror. Stood up by Cornelius. Now with five. Michigan in a hurry. A backward pass and they just dump it away. And there's Mindy McCord on the sideline. A rare fist bump and show of emotion from her. Yeah, it's a big defensive play right there. Huge stand for Jacksonville. Now trying to push the pace going back the other way and send this game into half all knotted up at six. 25 seconds left. Into the attacking zone. Rushford stutters towards the goal and tripped up as she was taking the shots. And the Dolphins with 17 seconds left have a great chance to tie it up as Rushford goes to take the free position who was 6-12 from this spot last year. Big time moment here for Jacksonville. Trying to get this game tied up again. You know they're going to attack coming off this free position chance. Rushford ties us up at six. Off the defense, quickly into offense. What a way to end the half for Jacksonville after it looked like things were getting shaky with those three yellow cards and the go-ahead Michigan goal. It shows the strength that the team has. On defense, they have not gotten really settled. They've had a lot of trouble. They've made some stops, but they had trouble clearing the ball. Then the penalties come, and you see them pack it in, communicate, and play exactly the way that the coaching staff can ask for. They only give up one goal. Then... They force the shot clock violation. They get the quick clear, and they're immediately back on offense. They have to just think going into this half. Get the ball into the attacking position, and you're going to win this game. But when this defense has forced their own problems and had problems forced on them, they've responded well, and that's why this game is tied up at six. You're right where you want to be against the number eight team in the country. Rushford in the circle. 183 draws last year and wins another one here. Brock in a hurry. Final five seconds. The Dolphins will not get a shot off. We are tied after 30 minutes. It was expected to be a battle between these two NCAA tournament teams. The Dolphins giving the Wolverines all they can handle going into the second half. I'm at D.B. Milne Field. What a battle through 30 minutes. A lot of fouls, a lot of emotion, a lot of intensity between these two teams. And we're all tied up at six between Jacksonville and number eight Michigan. Mason, both teams made their fair share of mistakes. Both of them had eight turnovers apiece. And we could see what would happen once those turnovers provided chances for those offenses to score. Yeah, especially on Jacksonville's side of the ball. When they were able to force the turnovers, it's immediate push the pace offense we talked about in the pregame and you see it on the field when they get the ball into the attacking zone which has been a really tough time for them to do that they've converted it's just a matter of clearing the ball getting settled after your goalie makes a save and moving the ball effectively you know your defenders two times fell out of bounds those are just things that you expect in the first game but can't happen if you want to win this one so if you are Jacksonville and you're trying to pull off a top 10 upset what do you need to clean up specifically to come away with the win? I would say it's your clearing game. You saw them get into penalty trouble there at the end, having at one time three players with the yellow cards. Obviously, you don't want that to happen, but that's something you prepare for. Not being able to clear the ball is something that you don't expect at this level. That's one of those unforced errors. You see it. Michigan is now tuned into it, too. That's another thing. They're going to say, let's ride the ball. Let's try and force turnovers. We know that they're going to give us some. Let's go ahead and force more. It's about clearing, cleaning up that game, getting that first goalie pass to a midfielder, not giving the ball into the corner to your defenders because they're having trouble moving it. Get the ball quickly up the field. And then if you are going to turn it over at that point, at least it's at midfield and not right where they can force a problem for you. Michigan trailed 4-1 to one in the first half. It went on a blitz to tie it up and eventually take a lead, but all tied up at 6. When we return, 
We'll get you the highlights and the stats before we get you ready for the final 30 First half here between Jackson. Jacksonville and Michigan. And you know the weather's always going to be nice down here along the coast. And it's, well, they weren't dreaming about the beach here. Right off the bat, an impressive display from a freshman we weren't expected to see in the cage for Jacksonville, Addy Tisdale. Yeah, five saves for Tisdale in this game. Seeing the ball well, making saves both in close and from the perimeter. Just a few that have gotten by are some amazing shots from some really amazing players on the Michigan side. They you know Michigan and Coach Nielsen trying to find the right combination after falling down 4-1, and they looked right to Caitlin Muir to pick him up. Yeah, no better player on the field that you could look for if you're Michigan. She's expected to be in that Tuarton conversation this year. And, Sean, I think we can see why. She had put away a goal, one for the highlights, finds the whip-around shot, and just buries it. And so both teams, despite the turnovers, issues in the draw circle, whatever you want to call it, the offense is picked up when needed. And there is Muir, the nice bounce shot in front. Michigan, when it has gotten rolling on offense, it has been pretty darn tough to stop. And even, well, Lily Grass, the senior, bullying her way inside. And it's just been a great display on what we've seen in the first half. What can we expect in the second real quick? I expect this game to be really settled down, both teams to fix their clearing game issues and these goalies just to keep making plays. I expect really a great and tight finish to this one, especially if Jacksonville can find their feet in the clearing game. 